Let's talk about where the inspiration for this theme came from and why I decided to build it for this course. The original theme is from the drakerelated.com website. And this is where the rapper Drake sells his merch on. And if you go to Drake related, you can see there's different kinds of website and they're done in this kind of a nice 3D style. And the website that we will be building is the certified lover boy album merch website. So if we click there, this should look fairly similar. So it's pretty much the same theme that we will be building with very minor changes. Why I decided to rebuild this theme for the course is because it's a very popular and successful theme. So instead of trying to reinvent the wheel and build a theme from scratch and have a designer help me with the actual design portion of the theme, I just decided to pick one that was already in production and that was doing really well. When I first landed on this theme, I thought it was the most beautiful theme I've ever seen. And I have worked with dozens and dozens of different themes. And I really love the simplicity of this theme. It really allows the product to shine. And it focuses a lot on the product imagery. This was also a good theme to build for this course because you will have a good foundation for whatever theme that you want to build for your clients or for yourself. So it's a very basic style theme. So you won't have to be removing a lot of styles when you want to add something for your own theme. I thought the arrow hovers were really unique. I haven't seen these on a lot of websites at all. The product pages were also very, very unique. As you can see here, it's identical to what we will be building as well. And they use a custom drop down, which is also not seen in a lot of websites. And I think it adds a really good user experience because it just makes the whole website seem that much more customized. After I decided to rebuild the theme, I went ahead into the inspector element tool and I wanted to see how this theme was built. What I found that it was actually built using very old technology that I just did not want to implement for a new course because I wanted this course to be something from the future where your theme will be one of the fastest and the best themes for the next five or more years. So if we go into the sources tab, we can see some of the files included with this theme. If we go into the cdn.shopify.com portion here, we can see all of the files that Shopify provides with this theme here. And we can see uh, some of the storefront things we can see the Shopify pay. But what we ultimately want to take a look at is the files under here. And we can see the product page, but also we can see the assets that were like provided with the theme. And we can see the application.js is included here, we can see jQuery. And we can see that this uh, theme actually used rivets cart. The rivets cart package uses the cart JS package as well here. And I've used it in the past and I thought it was very outdated and a little bit difficult to actually start using and not a lot of themes are using this technology now. So I decided to scrap it for this course. The other problem that I had with the way that this theme was built is that the application.js was minified. And this is a problem when you want other developers to continue working on your theme after you have built it. So for example, let's say you build a custom theme for a client and you want to just hand it off to them and they decide to go with another developer to actually make some changes to it. If the application.js is minified, the developers will not be able to do much. Since this theme includes a node modules, we know that this was compiled using Webpacker or some other compiler. And I wanted to stay away from this and just allow Shopify to compile everything that we're going to be building. So one of the main goals of building the theme for this course was to actually make it as developer friendly as possible. 
and that does not mean using any of these things. So we're going to be building the same theme, but using more modern technologies to do it. And it's going to allow our theme to be quicker and also more developer friendly, which is super important if you're going to be working with building themes and spending a lot of time on them. Another quick trick that I wanted to show you to actually see what products are available on a theme is to go into the URL of the Shopify theme and type in .json at the end. And this will give you a full list of all of the products available on that theme. So I hope you like this theme as much as I do. And I'm really excited to jump into the next section where we're actually going to start building out this theme. I'll see you there.